Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 15 Beta 1.1 which is a minor update as expected but it fixes a very critical bug that I'm gonna talk about in a minute. On top of this I'm gonna show you the current bugs that are not yet fixed even after installing Beta 1.1 and finally I will show you some features that I missed to mention in my previous videos. So without further ado let's jump in. The critical issue that Beta 1.1 fixes is the NFC payments. On beta 1 we used to have a blank page when we go to connected devices, connection preferences and then NFC but now everything is back to normal and the NFC payments work as expected. Also Google Wallet used to give me a pop-up every time I, I open it to set Google Wallet as the default payment method which is no longer happening as well. Unfortunately that's the only bug beta 1.1 fixes but there is a long list of issues that are worth mentioning for Google to fix in the future updates and for you to be aware what to expect if you decided to go for the beta program. The first issue is related to the at a glance widget on the lock screen. When you turn on the flashlight you should get a notification to turn it off from here but as you see it doesn't animate properly and the notifications overlap on top of the at a glance widget which is weird. The second issue when you take long screenshots using the physical buttons then capture more you will see that the save and cancel buttons are overlapping with the status bar which makes it hard to interact with them. For you to work around this you need to keep tapping on the save button randomly like this until it registers your touch. So let's yeah so now I got my long screenshot that you can see over here. And the same issue applies to copying text. So for example, when I copy this paragraph and then tap on the bubble to edit the content, you will see the done button is also overlapping with the status bar and I have to do the same weird action to get it copied back again to the clipboard. The fourth issue is the duplicate titles for the settings page when you access them either from the widgets or the quick settings still exist with beta 1.1. So that's it when it comes to the ongoing bugs. Now let me show you the features I missed to mention. The first one is under the widget speaker. Now we have a new option called pixel weather that includes the weather widgets that used to be under the Google app. The second change when you start a split screen view you will see a new cancel button in the floating bubble that takes you out of it like this. Under your Wi-Fi network settings when you go to privacy by tapping the gear icon then privacy now you will see a new page with more options. For reference here is the old menu and when you tap on privacy you can only choose between use randomized Mac or use device Mac but now you have one more option called send device name which will allow you to turn on or off the option to share your device's name with the network. Also under settings and then apps and then a special app access you will see a new item here called change media output which presumably will give other apps the ability to change the media output for you based on certain actions. And lastly under settings and then system then developer options the memory profiling feature is off by default and you have to turn on the toggle and restart the phone to get it up and running which wasn't the case before here on my 7 Pro running the previous version. The memory use page is active all the time and there is no option to turn this feature off but now you have the flexibility to do so. So that's pretty much it for today. That's everything about Android 15 Beta 1.1. I know it's kind of boring and the number of new features is very minor but we hope for Beta 2 and Beta 3 to change this. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.